What's up guys and the time has come we have the official one UI update for the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. In this video I'll be showing you guys what to expect with the official one UI update that is coming soon to your Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Yes this is indeed the last Galaxy S flagship phone to get this update because the S9 Plus and the Galaxy Note 9 have already received the update worldwide. I've already done my review on it and the Galaxy Note 8 is getting the update as we speak. It is rolling out in the Eastern Europe side. So by the end of this month of February, uh, all the Galaxy Note 8 in all the regions will be getting the One UI update. And same thing for the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus, whether you have the Exynos model or Qualcomm model, the update is really, really close. Like right after the Galaxy S10 launch, you can expect it to hit your phone. Of course, it will roll out region-wise. But in this video, I'll be showing you guys what to expect from this update on your Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. So basically, One UI brings a huge change to the UI it makes the UI very easy to use with one hand with all the applications getting updated having the main controls at the bottom so you can easily control that doesn't matter how big the screen is you can always bring the full notification panel down with just one swipe of your thumb every single stock application has been updated with this UI other than this the one UI finally brings the system-wide dark mode or as Samsung calls it night mode on your Samsung phone obviously it has an OLED display so with the night mode you will definitely see a better battery result so in order to enable it you just have to go to your uh, notification panel swipe to the left and here you have the night mode option so with just a one tap you can switch between your light and dark mode without any problem and then you also get the option to have a full screen gesture on your phone which is uh, really good because since we're moving towards this bezel-less age we need to have the gesture experience on the phone so the middle one is your home key this one one is actually the back key and this one takes you to the multitasking tray so pretty much uh, what you normally do with the navbar keys are now replaced with the swipe gesture and works really well uh, with the Galaxy S8. Other than that with the One UI you also get a bit of a new look with the icons and for those of you who are thinking about the performance gains so these are the results that I was getting before and this is the result I'm getting after the One UI update so slight increase in the performance by the way this is the Exynos model so with Qualcomm model you might see a little bit better result again it depends on the chipset either way this update is bringing all about the future of Samsung features software wise on your phone compared to the S9 family you pretty much get all the features which is great I mean Samsung is not handicapping the older models and if you guys remember the Galaxy S8 came out with NuGet update it got the Oreo update and now the One UI is the second biggest upgrade for the Galaxy S8 family and it could actually be the last update for this phones, uh, there's a good chance that Samsung might not upgrade uh, this officially to the 10.0 Android Q. Again, we'll see if they change their policy. But as we have seen in the past with the phones like Galaxy S7 Edge, Samsung does only upgrade uh, their phone with two major software updates. So uh, we'll see about that. And uh, this is the new setting looks. It looks pretty good. I uh, just want to quickly show you guys here in the advanced feature. You do have now the option for reduce animation. So if you are using your Galaxy S8 and you feel like you want to make things a bit faster, then I recommend turning on reduce animation so it reduces the animation a little bit it doesn't get rid of it but it makes the phone a bit faster and other than that uh, you get the option for the uh, ability to lift to wake your phone so that's really nice every time you lift your phone from the table it shows you the lock screen so full one ui features are here for the s8 and s8 plus now when we go into the camera app you can notice that since the galaxy s8 doesn't have dual camera it has the selective focus option uh, on the left instead of the live focus so it's not really the live focus kind of effect it's like if you take a picture of an object uh, about 50 centimeter away it blurs the background so it's not quite live focus level stuff but it is highlighted a lot with this upgrade but I will highly recommend you to use the Google camera app the Pixel 3 camera app that does work for the S8 and S8 Plus so uh, that one does have portrait mode uh, with front camera and back camera as well so if you want the portrait 
Scary Mode on the S8, S8 Plus. You can use that app. And also I like the uh, color and the detail from the Google camera app uh, more compared to what Samsung does by default. So again, the camera UI is very similar to the uh, flagships like the S9 and the Note 9. Uh, the only thing that is kind of missing is obviously the scene optimizer. So I can't really see it here. Uh, but other than that, it is looking very, very much similar. The lack of scene optimizer might be because of the lack of extra camera sensors. It does have only single camera sensor. Again, I could be wrong, uh, but that's what I think. Uh, overall, again, you get all the scoop of the One UI, and that is the main thing that matters. In terms of just using the phone, it is pretty much the same as the Oreo, maybe a little bit better, uh, but uh, I haven't seen like major changes apart from, of course, new features. Uh, so this update really is all about features, doesn't really make the performance gains a lot. So uh, yeah, if you have a Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus, I would say just wait a little bit. You will definitely get the update soon because this is the only remaining flagship that Samsung has to update. The Note 8 is already receiving the update. And even if you don't get the update, the firmware will soon be live at samhold.com so you should be able to flash it via Odin if you want to so uh, that's my full look at the One UI for the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus uh, update coming really really soon let me know your thoughts in the comment section below uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new here and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace out